everyone, this is Maggie back with another craft for you. Um, today we are going to make a straw canister, like those cute ones that diners have, um, used to have. So what you'll need is um, some kind of metal, um, aluminum, something thin that you can um, cut out of, because this is going to be the base inside the canister. I got a pie pan uh, from Dollar Tree. This is my decal I'm going to put on the outside when we're done. Um, you'll want um, E6000 or hot glue. Um, I like to use this because it, it's definitely going to be permanent. Um, scissors, a dowel, which you can paint or you can leave um, just the way it is. And I'm just going to show you how long this is. Um, I did cut mine the other day to size. So mine is almost nine and a half, not quite. You don't want it to be the full length of your canister. Um, this is what I'm using, a, uh, a tall glass vase from Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, like I said, this isn't going to be the f exactly the full length because you are going to want it to be able to sit inside and reach into the top of your canister, which in my case, I'm using the top from this jar, also from Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this. I might use that for another project. And paint. If you want to paint any part of your your canister, I'm considering painting the top. Um, of course, I don't recommend you go out and purchase the type that I have here. I'm using this because um, my boyfriend happens to have this and it saves me going out um, or ordering some. So I'm, I'm just going to use a little bit of that. Um, to hopefully paint the top. If you have a top like this, what you're going to want to do is remove the plastic part. It's a little difficult to get off, but um, it's possible. So we'll just take that off, and that's going to be your top. Um, And what I'm going to start by doing is measuring here because um, my metal base is going to go inside. And it's about three inches. So. is how large we're going to want the base to be. And I'm just going to mark that's where three inches is from there. And we're going to want it round, of course. So I want to see. Just to give us some kind of idea. going to do two just to make
make it a little bit thicker to hold the weight of the straws. That might sound a little silly because, well, straws are plastic or paper, but I am hoping to put my nice heavy plastic and metal straws in here. Please obviously be careful when you're doing this. Um, I purposely chose to use something from Dollar Tree, hoping that it would be flimsy enough. Um, and it is. Just that way I don't hurt myself while I'm doing this. This is probably right. Definitely need to make it a little bit smaller. If you have something else you want to use for the base in here, or you, um, would prefer to not put a base in, that's also fine. Um, I just would like a little platform for my straws to sit on when I pull, pull it out. Definitely have to cut it down by quite a bit. Now I'm going to cut out one more.
I am cutting it a little bit larger um, because really my first one, my first cut could have been a little larger. I just want to verify that it does fit in there. I am going to shave a little bit off. And now that's our base done. It's definitely hard to get the top off of this um, sometimes it sticks to itself and it does come out pretty quickly you don't need a lot of this glue um, just a little bit is fine That's going to be our base. And now we want to take our dowel rod And get that in our glue on both ends. This one is going to stick to the bottom here, to your base, and the other is going to stick inside the top of the glass. This stuff definitely does smell, so if it's going to bother you, um, I would say either don't use this or crack lots of windows. And you do want to make sure you get it directly in the middle. I am just going to verify that I am. I think I might want a little bit more glue than I even put in here. So let's pick up a little bit more. This is going to take a little while to dry, so I'm going to find a place to let this stand up 
and I will be right back. Okay, so while that is drying, and again, if you use that, you want it to dry for hours, um, maybe even till tomorrow. But while that is drying, you can take this opportunity to put your decal on. Decorate it however you'd like. You can use markers, you can use paint, stickers, if you have a stencil, um, anything you want. I'm using, of course, a decal that I made on my machine. be back after the rest of the parts are dry and I might paint the top and I'll show you the finished product. Alright so we are back with our straw canister here and here is my top. And that's what it is going to look like when you're all done. So I think I am going to um, take it back outside and spray the dowel with the silver as well. But here is our finished product. You got a nice little straw canister for your counter. And it'll free up some space in your junk drawer, which we know we all have. So I hope you've enjoyed this craft. And if you make one... Definitely send us a picture. We would love to see it. And I will see you in our next video.